Des bandes de partisans ayant été signalées ont fourbi les armes en vue d'une expédition répressive. Let's start with a disclaimer. Some of the most important footage that we'll be looking at in future presentations show collaborators who fought for the Germans in World War II. I understand that for many this topic can be quite uncomfortable. 75 years have passed since the end of the war and I hope that we're able to look at this with a historical rather than emotional perspective. In the comment section below I'd like to see your feelings but warn that any comment generally disparaging any nationality will be deleted. I'm not interested in moderating a fight club. This channel must be able to handle serious historical topics. From the video we did covering the 1943 Signal Journal, we looked at a photo of a French captain in the Légion Française, and a question was asked about reasons his last name might not have been listed. Foreign nationals fighting for the Germans had every reason not only to worry about their own well-being, but also that of their families. The French resistance especially hated those who collaborated with the Germans. Today, we'll look at some collaborationist rallies in Paris and see footage of French volunteers from the Légion Française heading off to Russia. Then we'll see a unit in action from start to finish of an anti-partisan operation. That's great material. Here we see a pro-German rally in Paris that took place on January 12th of 1944. The banner reads, A Unified Europe Against Bolshevism. This is Darlan, Vichy France's new Minister of Security. His central and towering positioning and lively gesticulations is typical of fascist or quizzling leaders of the era. These are French volunteers of the Waffen-SS. These French volunteers are heading to the front in Russia. In Minsk, Belarus, information was recovered by the Germans which gave away the location of a band of partisans. In July of 1943, the Légion Française took part in the operation against them. They depart. The military operation was complicated because the region was full of marshland and water, which made transportation difficult. It also took away much of the element of surprise, which is crucial in this type of operation. Here, the French detachment meets up with a group of volunteer Russians who are also taking part in the operation. Foreign troops were often used in anti-partisan operations in order to free up German units for frontline combat duty. Finally, the partisan group is successfully surrounded and attacked aggressively.
This French footage is part of a collection of material covering the Légion Française and their duty on the Eastern Front in 1943. There are two reels with a total runtime of 22 minutes and 20 seconds. If you'd like to see more, there's a link to that material in the description of this video. Three French and two German soldiers were killed during the fighting. The flag-draped coffins of the fallen soldiers are placed next to each other symbolically. The solemn ceremony stresses the brotherly struggle against Bolshevism that the two nations have symbolically sacrificed for. It's effective propaganda. Here, soldiers that performed well are receiving decorations.